everyone. Welcome back to Disasters and DIYs. My name is Jamie and today I'm going to bring you three DIYs that I've been working on. All three projects have that same theme of the distressed look. Distressing, that's my new thing. Love it. You ask what's distressing? Well, distressing is where you take something that is perfectly okay and in good shape and you work your magic using paint and sandpaper and other techniques just to rough it up, make it look old and rustic and like it's ready for the trash. That's pretty much the look I'm trying to go for with some of the decor pieces in my house. I'm, I'm in the process of transforming my, my decor from just a Mod Podge of different types of decor and making it more rustic and farmhouse looking. Um, I, I collect antiques as you can see, whoops, back there in my corner hutch. Um, I'm an antique. <laughs> I have lots of them and I like that antique look along with all the rustic and, and just kind of down home cozy feels. So these, these projects that I'm doing in this video are all decor pieces that were in my existing decor that I'm just taking. Uh, different techniques and just making them fit better in the style that I'm going for. If you like these DIYs and if you're liking me and the channel, Courtney and all the fun stuff that she brings to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. And then if you click on the notification bell, you'll be notified whenever we upload future videos. Liking the videos also helps. So if you like them, please make sure to to let us know by hitting the like button. Your comments, please, down in the comments below, leave your comments and let us know if there's anything that we could be doing better or things that you love because we want to be here for you. So what you tell us really means a lot to us. And if you stick around till the end, I guarantee you're gonna see some bloopers. We will always bring you bloopers because we are always messing up and we're goofballs and it's pretty funny. So sit back, get yourself something good to drink, and let's get into these DIYs. Why don't you work? DIY number one. Okay, this first DIY I'm bringing you today, I am going to take this brown uh, candlestick holder that I've had, I have a pair of them, and I purchased them from Walmart about a year or so ago, and I've kept them in my decor as brown, and they were okay, but now that I'm changing over to the farmhouse look, I felt like they needed to be distressed a little bit so they look a little bit more worn and, and rugged. So um, I'm adding some chalk paint to them with a, a chippy brush just kind of going at it light handedly not not super heavy at all um, now you can see that I am taking a 120 grit sandpaper and I'm going along now and I'm scratching along the edges just trying to give it that look of a little bit more wear and tear going on so with the the streaks of the brush that the brush strokes made and then also the sandpaper it'll give it a nice distressed look with the sandpaper and I sanded a couple of areas a little bit too much for my liking I didn't really like the way that it looked so I'm going back in with a little bit more of chalk paint just kind of kissing those areas to make them look a little bit more even <music> Now I'm going to use some matte Mod Podge to put on top of the painting that I just did just to seal everything in and, and just preserve it and keep it looking nice. I use the matte because I don't want a really glossy finish. I think that the matte will um, 
add to the rustic look of the candles, which is what I was trying to go for. complete. I staged them out in a setting with an old antique looking book and some glasses just to round out the look. I made a ring for each one of the candlesticks using some extra greenery that I had laying around. I just cut it into pieces so then I could wire it together to form the rings to go around the bottom of the candle. And then you can see there I have the battery operated LED candles to to go along with them and complete the look. I love all of the brush strokes that you can see in, in the chalk paint and all of the weathered kind of worn areas that the sandpaper created. This is exactly the kind of look that I was going for and, and I'm really happy with the way that these turned out. DIY number two. Okay, in this next DIY, I'm going to take these two black floating shelves that I bought from Walmart again a couple of years ago, and, and I had them in my decor just as, as the, the normal black shelves, and they worked fine, but again, with the farmhouse look that I'm going for, I wanted to make them look like they were wood and a little bit more rustic and worn out. So I am covering over that black look with some white chalk paint and um, I, I'm going over it looks like it's kind of heavy but the the surface of the the shelves it was a little bit weird and so the way that it was accepting my paint it ended up taking it a little heavier than I wanted but it all worked out in the end with the way that I continued to to paint it so um yeah, I'm just going over it as much as I can and trying to get it even without giving it too much coverage. So now you can see they're completely covered with the chalk paint, to my liking at least. And now I'm coming in with the 120 grit sandpaper and I'm gonna go to town there. It looks like I'm the bionic woman there the way that I'm sanding, but truly I'm not sanding that fast. Uh, I'm just going around all of the edges, just trying to bring back a little bit more of that black look. So it looks like it's just been really, a lot of wear and tear on it so uh, and this is the good prep work for the painting that I'm going to do here in a few moments go in with some other colors of paint and this is where I'm going to really add the the weathered rustic distressed look that I, I want to go for um, right here I'm using that same chip brush that I used previous in the previous DIY and I'm using some Waverly antique wax and I'm dipping my brush down in the paint but then I'm blotting it off to the side there you can see there on my puppy pad where I, I don't want a lot of paint on that brush and so I'm just gonna take 
and just lightly kiss the area. There I go with my bionic painting again. But then as I go, I take my paper towel and kind of smooth it out because I don't want it really, really heavy. I just want to build on it in layers. <music> can see I'm going in and I'm adding that that antique wax to the edges and previously there I was really concentrating on the corners because I really want my look to little to be a little bit darker on the corners and the edges and so I'm just going in there like I said before just lightly kissing it with the tips of my bristles here you can see on the top I'm gonna you know really stress those corners uh, giving it just a really dramatic look. see I'm taking that brush and I'm just you can really see how I'm just kissing the the top of the shelf there with the I'm taking the brush and kind of turning it sideways and just streaking it out there and I don't want it to be super heavy so I'm taking my paper towel and you can kind of see I'm just swishing it aside and trying to blend it but uh, just to kind of give it that just that worn kind of wood grain look so it, it looks much different than just the flat black shelf that it once was. I changed brushes and I'm still using uh, it's a chippy kind of a chip brush but it's more in a stencil brush style it's a little smaller round a little bit more compact and I'm using black and I love to use black whenever I am distressing things and, and giving them a really old weathered look I am using some black acrylic paint by craft smart and I'm going in those areas that I really want to make dramatic those those areas previously where I, I painted it with the antique wax and I'm just putting a little bit of black and taking my paper towel and smoothing it out just to give it that extra layer, that extra depth.
how beautiful that looks all of that nice worn weathered areas it's it's so beautiful I, I'm really happy with the way all of that turned out and so now I'm going to go through like I did on the candlesticks and I'm going to seal in all of that hard work and that painting that I just did with some matte Mod Podge just giving it a nice even coat just to save it and, and keep it looking nice for years to come. my wall with beautiful little decorations all displayed I'm so happy with the way that these turned out they look so much better than just the plain black they uh, they look like they're really worn I can't believe I worked so hard to make something look like it's old and worn out and been beat up but that's the look I was going for and and I think I I really achieved it again I'm I'm so happy with all of that distressing uh, I love how you know all those edges that naturally would get worn and wear and tear those are really brought out by that antique wax and the black um, you know on top of the sanding that I did previously so I, I hope you like the way that these turned out as much as, as I do DIY number three. This next DIY is going to be a series of different picture frames that I'm going to take from their original style and I'm going to put them together, paint them and distress them in a way that they all match and look like they are all a part of one, one set together. So um, here you can see I'm starting out with these kind of barn door style frames. I picked those up at Walmart. They were in the clearance section. I believe I got them for like a dollar seventeen each. I picked up every every one that they they had. So um, here you can see I am using Waverly chalk paint in the color cashew, and I'm putting on a light coat of it just because when I get to the other little frames they're they're black and so they're gonna need this um, a heavier coat of this so I'm basically applying this just so there's a little bit of cohesiveness uh, among all of the frames in with that Waverly antique wax and oh, 
please excuse the crunching in the background. That's Fiona Jane, my St. Bernard. She's picked right now when I'm doing voiceover to come and have a big old drink of water and eat her dinner. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using that very same technique on these frames that I did with the shelves. I'm just taking that chip brush and blotting it on my, my paper plate right there. And just going along and just kind of, again, kissing the, the frames. I use that term a lot, I know. But just kind of touching it and, and giving it those, those little streaks that give it a little bit more of a defining kind of uh, the markings that you would see in wood. Pretty, I mean, it looks similar to, to what it did before I even put the cashew paint on it. But again, I wanted the cashew on these because the black frames are going to be that same cashew color and you can see here I'm taking that the paint and I'm stressing the edges and the corners really well just to give it that a little bit more definition All of the distressing is done. I've, I've got the antique wax placed and it's given it a nice wood, wood look and I'm gonna seal all my efforts in with some matte Mod Podge just like I did with the shelf and the candlesticks previously. frames that I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I am adding the Waverly Cashew paint to chalk paint to right now just so they all can have that same look. I do go in and I do distress them the same way that I did the barn door frames that I just completed. However, yours truly somehow lost that footage. So um, I'm not going to be able to show you how I distressed these, but it was pretty much the same method that I used with the frames um, and similar to the shelves as well, except for I just, I didn't go in with the black on any of these frames because I, I wanted them to have more of a just a wood look not so much distressed and, and weathered like I, I wanted the shelves <music> completed barn door frames and the two pictures that I am putting in them one of them is a little bit smaller than the other one and so what I'm going to do to remedy that rather than going and having to find the photo and reprint it in this in the correct size I'm going to use my artistic flair and take some ribbon that I have in my stash and trim out the smaller well, I'm actually going to trim them both out, but the reason I'm doing this is to make them both look like they are the same size. So I, I put the smaller picture on a, a white background and then I'm just covering up that white edge. The, the white background is the same size as the larger photo. And so then what I'm doing is I'm taking this kind of burlap looking ribbon that I got from Michaels and I am lining that white edge with this ribbon. 
And then here in a few moments, you're going to see me do the same thing with the larger photo, except for I'm just going to take that brown ribbon and I'm going to just go around the edge of that larger photo. So then they're both trimmed out with that same kind of look and they, they look like they're the same size photo. see I'm taking that larger photo now and I am going to go ahead and trim it out like I mentioned pre previously with that brown ribbon to give it the illusion that it's a little bit smaller photo than what it truly is that way then they both are cohesive and they match <music> Now that I have them both covered with that burlap looking ribbon, I noticed that on the smaller photo, there's still just a smidge of that white background that's showing up and, and I don't really like that. So I always have to be a little bit extra. And so I'm going in with my glue gun and I found this really pretty lace type ribbon that I had in my stash. And so I'm gonna go ahead and trim out both photos with that lace ribbon it gives it a little bit more farmhousey kind of look even though the photos that are in the frames are not very farmhouse but hey what do you know what do you do you're in hawaii it is what it is finished small frames you can see I did go in and I did actually distress those like I said before I lost the footage so I apologize about that but I'm pretty much just going in and loading them all up with their pictures getting ready to show you the final reveal and here they are all grouped together like a set or at least they look like a set they all I think have that nice wood look to them these larger frames the barn door style they were you know originally wood but because I painted them with that cashew color it helped to kind of blend them in together with the black frames which here you can see they don't even look like they were once black frames um, you can see here with the antique wax how I went in there and I really enhanced all of the wood grain look on the wood frame and then with the black frames I was able to go in with the the brush strokes and create that kind of faux wood look so you'd have to really get down really close to see that they they aren't they aren't real wood they're just the black plastic frames but uh tricked into looking like they're wood because of the style of painting that was done on them All of the supplies I used in this video I'll make sure and link below down in the description box. If you guys enjoyed these DIYs and would like to see more of these types of projects please make sure to comment below and give me the feedback on what you'd like to see, what you enjoyed, what you didn't like. All feedback is welcome. 
Again, please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and like this video because it will really help our channel to grow. Hit the notification bell as well so then you know when we are uploading future videos. I really hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I'm looking forward to bringing you more. Welcome to Disasters and DIYs. This is Janie and I am here to bring you some more fun DIY projects that I've been working on. In this video, you're going to see that is so stupid. Rewind. Okay. Hi everyone. Welcome to Disasters and DIYs. Janie. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Disasters and DIYs. Don't adjust your body on camera. Hello everyone and welcome to Disasters and DIYs. My name is Jamie and I am going to be bringing you... Ugh. <laughs> Come on girl, get your crap together. That I can bring to you to enjoy. So sit back, relax, and let's get into these DIYs. Stop clicker. Because I think there it's so fun to show you just how much we mess up. <laughs> what goofs we are. So sit back and relax. Grab yourself a cup of something really yummy to drink. And uh, let's get into these DIYs. Stop. Ugh, my clicker is so bad. <laughs> 